It is the morning of day seven, and today I'm hiking to the wave. This was not originally part of the plan for this trip, but I did manage to secure a permit yesterday, so might as well. It'll give me a chance to do something because there's a good chance of clouds later this afternoon, maybe some thunderstorms, but that gives a nice uh, visual interest in the sky. So there's a lot of stuff to shoot over at the wave that clouds in the sky will certainly benefit. It's about 85 degrees today. My pack's about 70 pounds. I lug it in the 8x10 camera and all the necessary stuff, the film, the, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. I think it'll be a good day. Well, it's now midday and I'm just kind of hanging out here in the shade. I did take one shot earlier today. It's just the classic wave shot, nothing, nothing groundbreaking, but uh, I did use the large format movements, the rear standard movements in order to emphasize the foreground a little bit more. So that might be interesting. I did take a shot on Fuji Velvia 50 and also another one on Kodak uh, Portra 160 VC. So it'll be interesting to compare the print film versus slide film for basically the same shot. I'm gonna wait around here and see what happens to the clouds and then decide if I wanna go over a second wave or not. But until then, it's really nice just kinda of hanging out here in the shade and keeping the, the film here and everything else nice and cool. I spent most of the day back in the wave today and although I am glad I did get a couple shots, Conditions aren't quite exactly as I'd hoped they'd be. We've got some high clouds rolling in today. We got some lower clouds that are being generated based on uplift from the nearby mountains. But none of those clouds really moved into position for where I wanted to photograph them. Also, by the time the clouds moved in a little bit more, the uh, sun had moved and, oh, well we had moved, but uh, <laughs> uh, it was no longer hitting the bowl of the wave directly. So lots of shadows mean the pictures don't turn out quite as nice. It's one of those weird, you know, lazy shoot at noon type locations. Not much creativity, not much originality, but I think it'd be really cool to see the final photos on 8x10 film. Now, back to camp for dinner. 